They're still royals, but Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie do live lives that are somewhat more normal than those who are closer to the crown. The royals are not, in fact, just like us. The royal family is one of the richest and least taxed families in the United Kingdom. King Charles III is worth more than a billion dollars, and the value of all the family's estates combined is estimated to be upwards of $28 billion, according to the New York Times. Then there's the drama. Every family has its share of skeletons and black sheep, but even your messiest cousins have nothing on the royals. There's Prince Andrew, who was accused of sexual assault in connection with his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. In January 2022, Andrew was stripped of his titles and made no longer welcome to serve as a working royal. There was also the Charles Camilla Diana situation and the reported fallout between Charles William and Harry. Plus, who could forget Meghan Markle? Only a couple years after she and Prince Harry wed, the couple abruptly left royal life, moved to Los Angeles, and gave a shocking interview to Oprah Winfrey. There's a conversation with you... With Harry. ...about how dark your baby is going to be? Thankfully, there are a few members of the family that are a little more down-to-earth. For example, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, Prince Andrew's only children. Though most likely never destined to rule, the sisters have emerged as powerful grounding members of the family, a link to tie the royals to their subjects. Most of the royals are working royals, which means that they offset the cost of their lavish lives by leading charities and attending state events. It's a ton of work, but it's not a job in the traditional sense. That's where Eugenie and Beatrice are different. While the sisters can be spotted at many royal engagements doing their duty to support the crown, they've opted to have actual full-time jobs, too. Princess Beatrice chose to pursue a career in finance, working first as an analyst at a wealth management firm, before eventually becoming the vice president of partnerships at a tech company, according to Hello Magazine. I've had a, quite a diverse career, everything from finance to charity to now working for a technology company. Eugenie took a more artistic path. She works at a modern art gallery in London that partners with both emerging and established artists. In true royal fashion, both sisters spend their free time helming numerous charities, including the Teenage Cancer Trust. It might seem very unprincess like to work a 9 to 5, but according to Prince Andrew, it's exactly the balance he wants for his daughters. He said in a 2016 statement, As a father, my wish for my daughters is for them to be modern working young women who happen to be members of the royal family, and I am delighted to see them building their careers. When they do support the royal family and its work, this is very much appreciated by my family. It's typical royal style to have a big, splashy wedding. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding was estimated to cost more than 32 million pounds. Prince William and Princess Catherine's cost slightly less, reportedly somewhere around 30 million pounds. The original plan for Princess Beatrice's wedding to Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi was for it to be held at St. James's Palace in May 2020, but the COVID-19 pandemic changed the arrangements. When the wedding did take place that July, it was a very quaint and understated ceremony. The pair tied the knot without any press fanfare on a quiet afternoon, according to Town & Country. Beatrice likewise didn't wear a traditional wedding gown. She wore one of her grandmother Queen Elizabeth's old white dresses for the occasion, though she did pair it with the tiara. She's still a princess, after all. The Queen and Prince Philip were in attendance for the ceremony, as were Princess Eugenie and Prince Andrew and her mother, Sarah Ferguson. Motsi's then four-year-old son, Wolfie, also served as his father's best man, according to Harper's Bazaar. Princess Eugenie had a much more lavish and traditional wedding than her sister, but has broken with tradition in other ways. In May 2022, Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, announced their intentions to split their time between Portugal and the UK, The Telegraph reported. Since Eugenie is not a full working royal, this departure is nothing like the Megxit debacle. It seems the couple has opted to split their time because Brooksbank accepted a job in the coastal country, but Eugenie is planning to keep a residence near her family in the UK.